Hi. Um, so my Amy wanted me to do a video talking about aliens. And um, I'm going to do a video talking about aliens. <laughs> so I, um, somebody wanted me to do this video. Well, there was a few people that hit me up and was like, Flo, can you please do a video on aliens? Please do a video on aliens. So I'm going to do this video on aliens. And I didn't really know. I love you guys too. Hi, Manhattan. Hi, everybody. I love you guys. I didn't really know what I was going to talk about, but I was in my bed and I was thinking about aliens, right? Like I usually do a lot, right? A lot. I think I'm connected to them in some way or another. Can you guys hear me good? Oh, yeah, they are here. <laughs> yeah, see, and if you think about them a lot, too, it's because you know they exist and you know that they're around, you know? Your mom passed yesterday? Oh, my gosh. I'm so sorry to hear that. My, like, really, my condolences to you and your family. You know I love you, man. Okay, so I'm, I just wanted to give a moment of respect to him, please, because... Um, How was the drawing? What drawing? The drawing, the drawing. I love you guys. Okay, so we're talking about aliens. And I gotta tell you how how so connected I am to them. And I don't I don't know why. I am just like so so connected. Yeah, everybody respects to his mom, you know, she's uh, an energy heaven heavenly angel angelic being now and we all have to respect somebody when you know um, when they when they transition right not pass on they don't die they transition but um i have a couple of experiences i'm going to say with aliens or um so when i say experiences i'm going to speak to you about like um them basically coming to visit me a lot in my sleep and i would wake up in the middle of the night and my arms would be held down and all of these things were happening to me i would i would experience good ones and bad ones um the good ones were standing there protecting me as much as they could the bad ones hello everybody love and light to you guys all um there was so when i say good ones and bad ones i would say you know there's energy um vortexes all over the world um there is like the pre-flood civilization aliens there's the pleiadians that i connect to heavily that i feel like when we say angels, that's who we're talking about is the Pleiadian, um, people from the Pleiadian starship, okay? Are they nice? There's nice ones and then there's not nice ones. There's, that's, okay. When we want to talk about aliens, you're going to get me into the biggest rabbit hole. I can go on for hours and days and days talking about them and all the things I've seen. I personally experienced, I've seen people go through, I've um, witnessed people thinking that they're being attacked by demons, but it's not. It's like a dark alien entity. Um, you can call them reptilians, right? Um, obviously, but all reptilians are not bad either because they actually helped to build this civilization. Um, you got the Mu, uh, the Mu civilization. Uh, the There's so many different ones. There's so many different kinds, okay? Um, so all the symbolism that we, what, that we hold on to today, all the religions that we are um, following today, um, there, the, my feet just started vibrating as soon as I started talking about this, and I'm not even kidding you. Um, I want to like say the right thing. So I'm, I'm asking kind of like my spirit guides to give me like some information. Um, yeah, yeah. Um, I, this is my favorite topic too. So there's so many different things like that I, I want to talk about. But when it comes to like, when we speak about aliens, we're really talking about our star ancestors. So when people are like your ancestors, you got to understand a lot of times what you don't, what you need to know is that your ancestors are not just yeah, Mizi, I feel the same way, Alma. Your ancestors are not just your blood family line. You're talking about ancient civilizations, alien beings. I know for a fact I was around in ancient um, Atlantis because when the flood happened, this is why I'm terrified of water. I don't. I will not go to the middle of an ocean. Like you're not gonna see me on a cruise ship anytime soon. It's not that I'm scared. It's just that I. I that's a traumatic experience for me that I experienced in the past life. And I always say the worst thing is drowning to death and burning to death. You know why? Because I've been burned to death in the Salem with trials. I already know that for a fact. I've seen it happen. I've been, I was, um, 
not just burn to death in the sandal with trials. They held us in crates like like animals. You know the way this is why I stopped eating meat because I watched some of the documentaries and the way they were kept holding these chickens and all that. And they were in these little crates like this small and their feathers were coming out of the sides because that's how small they were. I was in one of those crates before. I was in one of those crates. I was at the bottom. And this is why I don't like tight spaces. I'm not a fan of like closets and boxes and stuff like that because I've been in them and people have kept me in basements for a long time. I've been a, a slave a lot of times in my life. I've been beaten and, and the trauma that I've experienced, which is I know that for a fact because I can feel it today. But all of this is from now. When we talk about aliens, we could talk about them in all forms, right? There's aliens under the ocean. There's ones that live underground on Earth, right? Mm -hmm. There's all types of aliens. And I'm not going to say too much because I already know what they like people to say and what they don't. I already know because when you start talking about things they don't like, this that's when the attacks start to happen. And they start to, like, energetically start to fuck with you. And I, I, I will just be laying here. Whenever I do like a video telling too much truth, for some reason, a day after that, like my fucking for two days straight, I'm like pushing things out and asking for assistance. And, you know, Archangel Michael, Archangel um, Gabriel, Raphael. Um, so those are beings, right? How can I explain them to you? So, you know, the Holy Trinity, this is and this is not just my opinion. This is it's been a um, are they evil? OK, so Del Delia. There's evil people, and there's good people. There's evil aliens, and there's good aliens. But I got to tell you, just like the good people help to preserve and protect humanity, the good and the bad aliens fight, for, fight each other to protect themselves and humanity. And the reason why they started to get involved with us is, you know, the fall, fallen angels? You guys are always like, Fallen angels, fallen angels. I get it. Biblical stories are nothing but alien stories. The book of Enoch alone, it just proves that everything they're talking about in the book of Enoch, okay? The book of Enoch, um, um, uh, when uh, Noah's Ark, Noah's Ark, that's another alien story. The, God, didn't, God didn't destroy the whole world. There's no way Noah's Ark could have held every single animal and every every single kind of animal on a boat on a ship that he built it's impossible what god did was that part of the world wherever that was um which i'm not sure the places and all that but i could tell you this is a fact every part of that that part of that world when they say the fallen angels came down and they saw that the son of man was beautiful and they took them as wives these are alien beings that were on a ship Okay, so they left the Lord, right? The Lord is like the Lord of the ship. You understand what I'm saying to you? It's going to sound crazy, but really put the pieces of the puzzle together. Every time they said God came down and spoke to me, why was God always in some kind of like craft that made a loud noise? And do you think God, actual creator of everything, needs a spaceship? Do you think God, actual creator of everything, needs an actual ship or a device to come down to you do you think god needs that if god is energy and a formless being just like archangels are a formless being the only reason they said i saw archangel gabriel and he came to me as a man and he was glowing with with the ten thousand suns around him and they describe it it's because they came to the to like let's say the virgin mary and all that stuff as a human form right a a, a bright human oh here we go a bright I just saw the brightest light flash right here on the left side of my eye. They came to us as humans because whatever our minds can understand, that's what they'll do. So if, literally, if you love kittens, right, an angel or whatever or any entity comes to you as that kitten, like a form of that kitten, you'll be like, this big, beautiful, three-headed dragon came to see me. And it was whatever your mind can, can conceptually like can get, can grasp, it will come to you as that form right that energy will that formless being will create will create a form so that you can understand it so like i was saying in the book of enoch um uh we have um the book of enoch ancient samira Enki, and enlil and lil who were samarian got um Samir why my throat started getting dry right away as soon as i started talking about this <clears throat>
So in the book of Enoch, right? In um when when Noah's Noah's flood happened, all these things, the son of man saw that the wives of man were beautiful, so they came down and took them as wives. They 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 weren't fallen angels. They went against their lordship. Like they left the lordship and they came down and they slept with with humans. And remember when you said, "Oh, there was dinosaurs. Din dinosaurs and humans lived among each other at at that time." What you don't understand is that they did. And because people couldn't travel, they weren't able to see what was going on in different parts of the world. And so if there was in the Mayan civilization, right? For instance, that was going on there, the only way things will travel is by word of mouth. It takes five, seven to 15 days for them to travel through word of mouth. So things could ensue and nobody's going to know about it. So what I got to tell you is I know it sounds crazy to people who don't understand who are not like, you know, willing to like look outside the box besides, oh, it's all God and it's all the, Bi yeah, the Bible and the Quran and things like that. If you really read in between the lines, a lot of them are stories about aliens that came down here and took over a certain part of uh, civilization. They they always go to the the they always go to the highest person there. Like, let me speak to your leader. Like, if we were to go to to alien space, what would we say? Let me speak to your leader. That's what they do. They come down here and they say, "Let me speak to your leader." Enoch was the counselor for all of the people, all of um the Israel the Israel um is. Golly. So Moses, like Moses started to. Sorry, my nose started getting itchy out of nowhere. Of course, Moses, um, he started this whole thing like where he was like getting all the people together and he was done with them. Uh, I think Persia. I don't know who it was, but they were control controlling the Israel. Listen, I know my history, but I don't know my history. I, I'm not worried about the details of who, what, when, where, why. I just know that I'm telling you that aliens have been working with us and against us for a very long time mostly though they're working with us mostly that's why you're protected there was a time when hiroshima uh, when they hammered hiroshima or whatever it's called they try to um explode that nuclear that nuclear bomb and they said out of nowhere the switch just went off like we were like we tried they tried to explode it and the switch went off so what does that tell you that tells you that those alien beings were like, oh, they're going to kill themselves. Like they have stopped humanity from killing, from destroying themselves for eons, for centuries, for, for lifetimes. Uh, the aliens have been helping us since day one, A1, day one. Hey, Mike. Hi, everybody. The aliens have been helping us since day one. Do you understand? So I, I want you to understand. Here's the thing. The reason why I know that there's aliens exist, first of all, I've interacted with them in my dreams. I have interacted with them here. They've done good things to me. They've done bad things to me. They've, they've done a lot of things that proves to me, first of all, a lot of people will say, well, that's demons. You're talking about demons. Am I, though? Am I, though? I, I don't know, because if if they were demons, and, and I just, I just, I got to tell you. Demons are aliens. I just got to tell you, angels are Pleiadians, right? When you see a Pleiadian Merkaba, the Merkaba of the Pleiadian, the light is so bright and so vivid that they're, the, the energy and the formless of the frequencies of the vibration, I mean, like, the energies of the formless of the frequencies of the vibration, it ends up looking like angel wings. So everybody, like, chalks it up to, like, it's an angel, but it's a Pleiadian. Or it's this, uh, listen, um... So you have the reptilian base, and you have the um, giants, and you have the the Pleiadians, and the the what's the other one? Um, what's the other one? The with the blue faces, the blue faces, the white faces, the reptilian faces, and the giants. Okay, um, let me get you right now. I got you. Hold on. Because um, I've I've been watching I've I've been knowing about this for a long time, but I really just I haven't talked about it in a while because um, uh, the 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 what do they call man the the, the blue face ones uh, um I'm so sorry. Okay, okay, I got it. Oh, yeah. That's the Merkaba. Yeah, the, the Merkaba. That's a that's a big um. Uh, oh wait, hold on. Arturian, the Arturian, there you go, that's the name, okay, it's the Arturian, the Smurfs, <laughs> that was a good one, that was cute, yeah, yeah, the Smurfs, the Arturians, the Arturians, okay, so, here, let me, um, 
Let me have you guys watch something with me that I find. Listen, this guy right here, his name is Matteo Stefano. Since he was a young lad, right? Since he was a young lad, he had dark and lights. He had his guides. His guides were dark and they were light. So, <laughs> that was funny though. <laughs> the Smurf. <laughs> I hate you. Okay, okay. Okay, ready? Uh, we'll watch this together. And um, hopefully they don't fucking punish us for it. Okay. According to the stories of my grandfather from okay. my life in camp. Now watch, he remembers all of his lifetimes. His gift, his purpose is to remember. He says, my name is Mateo De Stefano and my purpose is to remember. Okay, so that's his purpose, to remember everything that happened and to come here and to give us that information. He has eons of information that he cannot seem since he was a baby he's been doing this like he's been saying since he was a child a little kid he used to go to his grandmother no but um but my guides that are standing there they're telling me that this is how it was and that's how it was he's the one that went to the vatican with like 28 to 38 people he went with a lot of people to the vatican listen to what i'm saying he went to the vatican and was like you need to tell the um pope that i was told by by my guides um by the um pleadians that i need to open up the energetic key so that the world can shift to where it needs to be and guess what the vatican took the fucking call and told him okay so he was able to go in the middle of rome right by the um the vatican and do this ritual with like 38 people where they all moved the energy like they opened a key a portal you understand you know, the catacombs and in, in the Vatican, all those dead bodies in there, they say that those are were all sacrifices to get the to get earth to where it needs to be that they sacrifice. So, you know, if, if, if they're being infiltrated by good guys or bad guys, you got good guys and bad guys. Right. Remember that. And who they're infiltrated by. We will never know. We will never know, but there are always going to be good guys and bad guys. But I I just don't pay attention to the negative stuff. So. How do you snap out of it when you get depressed or anxious? Oh, Mike, um, right away. The, the key to that when you get depressed or anxious is to immediately snap out of it. Don't even wait a second. It's like almost like if you were to if you were to let a bill pile up, right? And you and you don't make a payment towards that bill, right? It will the bill will get higher and higher and higher. And so it's so high, it's out of control. You don't even know what to do anymore. Now you just want to run away from it. I don't know why I use that example, but it's like the second you catch it, you have to snatch it, like really get, get a hold of it and maintain control of it immediately because the darker and the deeper you get into that depression or anxiety, the worse it will be. Thank you, Jocelyn. <sighs> yeah, it is, but you got to catch it right away. That's the trick of life. Everything that's going wrong in your life, remember, everything's fixable. No matter how knee deep in the game I got, I was able to reconstruct my life. And I got to tell you, it takes time and patience, but you will. Hey, Choco, it takes time and patience, but you will. You will accomplish anything. You could destroy everything, but you can rebuild it. Look, um, you know what I'm saying? The, the earth was destroyed and rebuilt millions of times, and it's still here. So you're the same way, okay? A white owl yeah it, it could represent that i'm also talking about the drawings in my art account flow oh yeah yeah oh my god yes delilia beautiful exo delilia gorgeous gorgeous drawings amazing okay guys here around sixteen thousand bc okay according to the stories of my grandfather from my life in chem around sixteen thousand bc the tall families began on green cape the island we call hefu there were three main islands Ekaron, Hefu and Ethno. At the height of the Atlantean Empire, there were around 300,000 people living in that region. There were several villages throughout the three main islands, but the main capital of Atlantis was a circle city named Hephis, located on Green Cape. This was considered to be the origin and the center of Hephislion, the Atlantean Empire. This is the show when guy. Atlantis civilization, the Hef, started to be split in those islands, in the 12 families, they realized that they had this purpose of mm. creating a new civilization that could rule the world, that could be better than their fathers and mothers, Aesir, in the Middle East. So what they decided was, 
we need to conquer them. We need to go need to and them. take conquer. over them. <laughs> so, so that would allow them to reach the power of the whole planet. The Arturian people taught the Atlantean people that the power of the world was consciousness, that the power of the world was to become the planet. So in order to do that, we needed to reach every portal of the planet to have the things, the thinkings of the planet in ourselves. So if the 12 families of Atlantis would be split in the world, in the 12 phases of the world, we could download the information from the Atlantis perspective and create the first idea of who we are as planet Earth. That's what pushed them to go out the islands of the, of the Atlantean Ocean, following the pattern of the energy flowing around the world. And they first went to the crossing energy of this Kundalini between Morocco and Spain. So this Atlantean civilization started to make some settlements in the Mediterranean Sea following this fracture of the energy coming. Let me be your teacher and guide through this video so you can understand it. Now, what he's saying is essentially that aliens believed, believed, they knew. Arturians, not aliens, our, our ancestors. They knew that the earth carried chakras. The earth carries chakras. It has a kundalini. And this is the same. Listen, there's nothing new under the sun as above, so below. Whatever the universe is created as a form and whatever it is and whatever planet everyone comes from, they, they become that planet. Do you understand? So we are all Mother Earth, and which is why they say, when they say, when they say we are all one, that's what they mean. It doesn't mean everybody's the same and we all have to be alike and we all have to love each other. That's not what it means. It means we are one, like we are created as one and the same. Like we all have the same, the same like feeling in our body like our 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 you know like chakra systems kundalinis our our spines our our blood like just see what i'm saying that's what i'm trying to say so let me finish let me... from the atlantic ocean this separation of the continents between africa and europe was the pattern that they follow to reach the head of the snake from that following of the energy they sell their face settlements in all the region of Middle East, from Egypt to Anatolia, and all this region that now we call Jordan, Israel, Lebanon, Syria, Arabia, Iraq, Iran, all this region was took by the Atlanteans, and the, but they followed the energy flowing through the mountains more east and east. So that took them to the portal of Pakistan, Afghanistan, India, and they reached the high mountains in the Himalayas. When they arrived there, the Yom Yom, the Lemurian ones, they just went straight to the doors of the portal in the Himalayan mountains. Yes, I and am they Delia. settled this army Look to it. protect the portals of the Mu civilization. What they knew at that time was that if Atlantean people would reach the whole pattern of the snake, they would be surrounding the moon portal. So all the information of the water would be now a pattern held by the Atlantean people. So that meant the ending of the moon civilization. Moon people would never fight against anyone. They would be like angels in the seas. So that's why the Confederation just told them, it is time for you to leave. And that's why all the civilization just left the cities, left the portals, and peacefully they just went away to the underground. And they left the only colony trying to fight for them, that was the Yom Yom. The Yom Yom. This region tried to fight against the Atlanteans so they couldn't reach the whole planet, the energy of the whole world. And the, but it was something natural that, that had to happen. The Atlanteans had to go and follow the pattern, the pattern of the snake and to rule the whole planet and every portal. So the reason why 
they were chosen to fight the energy of Atlantis, it was because of polarity. This polarity means that they were the ones taking care of the Australian portal of the world. So they were in the desert of Australia and exactly in the opposite side of the planet, we have North Atlantic Ocean. So they were against each other the equator. by magnetism, by idea, by polarity. They were precisely the two civilizations that were exactly against each other geographically. So that is why they knew, kind of knew that they had to fight each other in order to see who would rule the world right now. In other dimensions, this war was not something seen like something bad. It was a creation of a new humanity, the beginning of something new for our third dimensional world. From the fifth and the sixth dimension, polarity creates chaos and creation. And that is why they choose this polarity of this Yom Yom civilization and the Hefian civilization to reach the middle point in between of them in India, Pakistan, and when they got in touch in the middle point of connection, what they did was to was to transform themselves in other thing. They start the war. This war would be like different groups of energies reaching the same spot of one of the main portals. And this would create the chaos for the first time in this planet in between the two civilizations that would rule the world and that would lead the ideas of the world for the next thousands of years. The way the war was held in that time was not through the technology of light or the technology of, of guns like we know today. Of course, we had different ways of understanding how a war was held because we had the sound technology. Sound. The sound technology was to use the vibration of the whole planet to create realities, but also to destroy realities. We call this technology as Protikta. Protikta was the structure of 33 cubes. 33? This interdimensional and three-dimensional chakana, which is this shape of the symbol that we had in South America, in Bolivia and Peru. But when you split it in different structures and different cubes, you would have the, the system that they used to create the pyramids to create the technology of vibration. They used to put water inside and encode this water Cold by the vibration. Water. The vibration. So everything that was exactly the same would reproduce the same amount of energy and vibration by quantics along the whole planet. So every pyramid, every temple, every stone circle that has the shape of this structure would replicate the same amount of energy and vibration so everyone could reach the information that they were searching. It was like the first Wi-Fi, the first internet that we had in, in, the, in our planet. So this structure that was being created around the planet by the Atlantean people was something that allowed them to enlighten the cities that they would use to heal, that they would use to contact other times and spaces, that they would use to build pyramids, to build structures, to regenerate the cells in your body to live longer than we live today. So all this technology that was used for the aware of the consciousness and, the, and, and to make it higher in frequency so, so every planet could listen this world and we could listen every planet in the confederation was also used for this war. That was one of the first mistakes that Atlantean civilizations did. They organized this structure of connection in the world, creating these sound vibrations, and they, they structured these pillars of resonance that were created in different parts of the world. So when they would create a, a huge amount of energy by vibration in one pyramid, this vibration would be uh, transmitted in to different spots of the planet like a, like cables, like a network. Mm -hmm. So in a tiny amount of vibration, they could heal 
they could change the patterns of the DNA, they could build, but if you put all this amount of vibration in just one spot, the whole network looking into one spot, what you would have is the same amount of energy that we call now an atomic bomb. With vibration. They, so they it was can. not only a war fought by soldiers Atlantan, fighting with swords. Lamar, uh, the main Arthur, war uh, was through sound. This energy was used against the Lemurian people. Lemuria. So they could have the power of the portals. In this war, they brought the Lemurian people close by the temples. And the moment they were all close, the temples and the, and the pyramids, they would put all the information and all the energy of the pyramids towards Same. that only pyramid. And when they did that... So when, when we say that there's... I just got to say this. When we say there's a spiritual warfare going on, it's... I, I know you guys don't want to let this go because you're all like taught about religion and all that, but spiritual warfare is just like an energetic warfare against alien entities and they use a lot of humanity for their own agendas. And so when you see that there's a war going on in Iraq or all that stuff and and the, and we have absolutely no explanation as to why we're having this war cuz no I I'll wait go ahead tell me why we had the war in Iraq anybody know you could say oh it's for oil it's for this no it's for energetic portals it's for gateways to the stars it's for energy for them to control energy portals because if they can control certain energetic port portals and gateways don't forget um when we say that everything happened in um israel and 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 in mecca and all that these are energy portals do you understand they're energy portals that's why they're so spiritual religious that that's you're really talking about energetic gateways and portals that can give people they can they can completely walk through them and go to another place or they can have control of a, of a civilization if you ever watched um obama was doing his thing and they they showed a video of this guy and he was like shape-shifting like the alien entities have infiltrated our white house since the beginning of time they want they have their own agendas but there's good guys too that's what you need to understand what's considered good and what's considered bad nobody knows because that's the thing it's all about perspective right that's why they say darkness and light work together perfectly to create balance in this world but the thing was darkness was starting to get a little bit too powerful so the light right the light workers all of the people that were supposed to be light workers all of the people that are supposed to get in and help the darkness dissipate a little bit that is why we all got called at the same time because they needed excess light because the darkness was starting to become a little bit more powerful meaning as far as like it was just taking over in a certain way the name of this video is called i'll tell you right now i watch all of his videos i have gained a lot of knowledge and wisdom through him through gary um i'll tell you right now hold on one second because i want to put you guys on to several videos this one is called the rise of the Atlantean Empire, and I would highly suggest that you watch Gaia. Well, I'm subscribed to Gaia, so I watch everything on it, so I get like a shit ton of information. Um, and I think it's like fifteen dollars a month. I'm not sure, but <clears throat> I don't give a fuck if it was forty. Honestly, I love Gaia, um, and I hope to one day be on that. That's what, what I what I want. G A I A. It's an actual um, subscribe shit on YouTube and. They post videos every day, and so, okay, let me watch the video, right, because he was talking about the um, portals of the pyramids and how they create vibrations. Uh, can you hear me now? Can you hear me now? Can you hear me now? I'm sorry, can you hear me now? Still? Oh, no, not again with this bullshit. You still can't hear me? Now you can hear me. Okay. I'm so sorry. So, <clears throat> okay. So, like I was saying, um, I would highly suggest you just you subscribe to Gaia on YouTube, G A I A, and they're a wealth of information. There's so many things. There's one called Aaron von Strassenberg. Von Strassenberg, his video. Oh my God! I would love to have a day of like wa binge watching Gaia documentaries with you guys, so you guys can fucking 
oh my god i swear to god it's an this this woke me up from thinking like oh it's all and then i was like wait a minute then i started reading the book of enoch then i read the gnostic gospels and then i started looking through the bible and and reading that and reading the quran and i just was like oh my god why do all of these sound exactly the same <laughs> but like they're it's it's just, it is what it is. I don't, I'm not here to tell nobody that religion is fake and you shouldn't follow religion because God is all the way real. Definitely there's a, there's a divine creator for everything, 100%. But the rest of the stuff that goes on, you gotta understand. <sighs> Energetic beings came down here and they had to do it, right? It was, it was necessary. A lot of things that they did, the battle, like he showed the two energies cra clashing together. The spiritual warfare they kept it was just energy it's not people actually fighting with knives and guns he said it. it's energy and vibration and the dark and the light or whatever you want to call it the good and the bad whatever you want to call it they were crashing into each other to see who who's gonna control a specific energetic portal and gateway like he said from africa to australia he had to follow the serpent okay the serpent so the serpent came down and and whispered in Eve's ear to eat the apple. That's not that's not how it goes. That these are all metaphors. All the shit you hear about um the disciples, the twelve disciples, twelve months in the year, you know what I'm saying? Like just think about the twelve zodiacs and the sign. Like I'm just gonna say, like, think about all that. Everything you hear is like it they're metaphors, right? Some of these people were actually human beings who were infl who were con contacted by by alien entities. God, listen, the divine creator of everything, I'm just going to say, has never spoken to anyone himself or herself or itself, however you want to view it. It is always going to be that people are going to say, someone came down and they were on this ship and they were, it was a... You know, um, yeah, God, God don't need no ships. God is God. And, and, and if God wants to send specific people, it's going to be divine. And it's going to be for a reason for the whole world. Right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, there's always stuff around me. Pyramids, they would put all the information and all the energy of the pyramids towards that only pyramid. And when they did that... We could see this energy like a big sound wave with a, a lot of energy. All this energy was moving around and you could see it like a light. And when it was expanding, everything that touches just became like dust. Every living being in kilometers around, plants, animals, stones, and people that were living in those regions, even the cities that were in those regions, were turned into dust. And that's how Atlantean people show their power of using the energy of sound around, around the whole world. And that is how they won the war against the Lemurian people. Nobody in the world would now fight against the Atlantean people because they show the power of sound they show that this amount of energy was now in their hands this energy that is known now by some biblical stories like Sodoma Gomorrah Sorry, and the destruction know. of the cities in the Middle East by vibration by sound by these lights that turn everything into dust and the last tiny part of this energy that was brought to the regions of Diganga in South Egypt, now called Ethiopia, was what in the Bible they call the Ark of the Covenant. They took this part of the Protecta energy that was used to enlighten the power of the pyramids around the world. So it was the last tiny part that they could keep before the last fall of Atlantis destroy all the system in the Atlantic Ocean. That is why today we can remember that the most powerful energy in history was that energy that made that every atom by vibration be, become dust. And that is one of the reasons 
why after the Atlantis wars with Lemuria and before the fall of Atlantis, many of the cities and many of the main places of this civilization just disappear and just kill around the 80% of the population of our civilizations. So many of the pyramids that were around the world and even in the Pacific Ocean, they were nothing after this war. We only have from them the main structures like the basements or some structures from the, the floor. So we can not have now the the main structures because of the destruction through vibration and also because of the time and the climate change and the volcanoes. But mainly during the big war, they disappear or they are under water or under earth. This war was in the blood and the memory of every culture in history of humanity. So that would mean that every human, even today, has the memory of that war within us. We Which have this I do, memory I cry when I hear of about it two for some big reason. civilizations fighting, taking care of one of them, the West, and the other one, the East. And that would separate the idea of the world between East and West. And that would be the first idea of the whole world separated and fighting in different ideas. So this war around 15,000 years BC was the war that allowed the Atlantean people to reach the Taklamakan Desert and to build the pyramids that we know today in China and all the regions in Asia. So they were downloading the information of the Kundalini through Asia and going to America. This was the beginning of the rise of the Atlantean Empire in the whole world. When we see Pleiadian ships, we see a sphere of light because is the Merkava moving so fast. The Atlantean civilization was the product of Arturian people. But the first Atlantis was not about pyramids. It was about the temple within. They taught us how to relate with the world. The giants were the keepers of that wisdom, of that information. The reptilians represented for us the negative and the positive. And we will explore in Anunnaki and how this created structure for the humans to transcend. Bitch, this is what I'm saying. You know what's crazy when I found this guy? When I found this guy, just incidentally, I was, you know, a spirit, I'll ask them, or my, I'll ask my higher self to lead me so that I can get the information correct and I'm not, like, lying about it. I Everything that he says in every video I've watched so far, I already knew and felt it and would experience it and I, I knew about it or I heard about it and I was like, that's definitely true, that's definitely true. Then I watched his series on Gaia. And I was like, wait, everything I've been feeling, everything I've been sensing, everything I knew deep down inside of me, this is what I was saying. And he's explaining it verbatim, word for word. Like everything that I knew to be true, I felt it. I said, I know I was fucking killed in like Atlantis. Because them even just talking about it, him even just talking about it, I got really emotional. That's how you feel about me, India? And I get that a lot. And you know what? Why that, that's crazy that you say that, India? When you say that, um, I'm always like, please lead people to me that needs that that want to like go on this journey and and that remember like me or that want to and that I can help them remember. And so people come to me all the time. His YouTube, he um he has his own oh my god, look what I just opened the phone by accident to show you what his YouTube is. Four four four. You know what? Look at that shit. Four, four, four. I mean, seriously, really? Here's the crazy thing. Um, he has his own YouTube. Uh, uh, hold on one second. I'll tell you right now. Mateos, Mateos, Mateo, Mateos de Stefano. Okay, his name. Is, hold on. Mateos de Stefano. I love him so much. He is so. I just love looking at, watching him talk. Oh my God, de Stefano. Stefano, he's been doing this for so long, but Gaia just found him recently. I'll tell you right now, I'll die.
Okay, here, I'm gonna let you watch this too, cause, cause you're gonna love this too. It, it just, you could, I don't think he has his own personal YouTube. I've never seen him on his own personal YouTube. I think he like goes on for Gaia when he does it. Look, hold on. Wait, look, Gaia. Well, when it when it started, it was okay. So, hold on. Let's see. Yeah, aliens are in cahoots with the government. Hell yeah, they've been there. They've been there, done that. Mm -hmm. I probably won't be able to post some of the tip, but they might not take it off here. I'm not sure. We'll see. I'll just say I do not own the copyrights to this. But it's free on YouTube. I don't know why they were bothering me. Here, you're going to love this one. If you guys are really into this, like I am, oh my God. I've watched this a million times. I could watch it 10 million more because I always get new information. Mateo Sestefano claims to be able to tap into these records, the Akashic records. This is called Initiation with Mateo Sestefano. My dream is to help people understand how the universe operates so that each person can find their own unique purpose within the cosmic plan. My name is Mateo Sestefano. And my purpose is to remember. I love when you say that. Since I was three, I began to remember past life before I was born. I thought this was normal until many years later, I realized people could not see what I could see. Usually, at this age, the brain begins to disengage with other dimensions, but mine stay active and still is today. This part of my brain that is still active allows me to remember in full detail the past and connects me with the cosmic memory that unites us all. Through these visions, I see people and places and important things. These visions help me piece together the existence of not only humans, but the universe itself. This place I was connected to was referred to me in my visions as Thamthirga, which means the spiral cord of God, the or as I later learned, the central Akashic records. Mm. I believe I have been given this gift to tap into the Akashic records of the cosmic plan so that I can help people understand the structure of the universe we live in, the concept of our existence and the importance of things we ignore in everyday life that are essentials for our growth as we move into the next dimension. In this series, we will go beyond what you have read in history books. That civilization started 3,000 years ago, back to 30 million years ago when humans first existed in the universe. And we will go back 6,000 million years ago to the creation of the universe itself. We will cover races that influenced humanity since Lemuria and Atlantis. We will cover alien groups in the universe and the great war that took place in our galaxy. I will share with you how to open your heart portal so that you can help others. And last but not least, I will share how our world exists and why I was able to remember it. Do you sometimes find the fear of what could happen? <sighs> I just love information. I am a information. Oh, I could. I'm an information junkie. I will never stop wanting all the information of everything. And that's why sometimes I can be like a little crazy. Um, yeah, the nails are nice, right? Uh, I'm going to get them. I, I like these bright colors. I, I'm going to start sticking with them for the summer. Yeah, let me tell you information for me you can't give me enough information about the world you can't give me enough information about everything hi montreal like i do my research yo sometimes i go crazy like those you guys i research a lot sometimes i'm like i've stopped like i i have so much a wealth of information in my brain which is why i want to start my podcast because i have so much to talk about but starting a podcast cast for me right now is not easy because um you know i pay 
not that it matters or anybody's business, but I have my mortgage, I have this, I have that, and it's just, it's expensive. A podcast is like three fifty a month if you want to go to a studio. I can't do it in my house. There's too much going on in here. Like, I want a professional studio, and most people charge like three fifty a month. Like, that's a lot. I have a car payment, you know, I got... It's a lot. And then I would have to drive there, which is like another fucking $15, 20 a day. And not that I'm like, you know, I can't afford it. I could, but I, like... It's, I gotta wait until it's the right timing or like to make my own studio. That's what I'm trying to do. You know what I mean? Because I have so much. Hey, Erko. Hi, Montreal. TGB. Jim Coco. Jimmy Coco. I love that name. <laughs> Jimmy Coco. You may just wanna like do a salsa. I am K. Yeah, no, I'm working towards it. You know, I'm manifesting it and I'm saving for it. Because here's, I don't know about anybody else, but I'm like a type of person, like, I have to be. When it comes to financially, I have to have a certain amount saved in order for me to start spending again. Does that make sense to anybody? So if I'm like down a thousand, a couple of thousand, and I need to get that back up to do what I need to do because I'm about to get a new car soon, I just don't want to make any major purchases until after, um, uh, what you call it, um, until after Mercury is at a retrograde. Thank you, Chris Santos. I love you too. Oh my God. Yo, this is what I love. Like, Chris Santos saying, come to Berlin, I'll show you around. I have somebody in Amsterdam. I want to go visit her. I have somebody in Sweden. I have somebody in um, um, Austria, New Zealand. New Zealand. I have so many people around the world. And I'm going to start traveling. This is another thing I'm going to do my heart chakra. I'm going to start traveling. You know, um, I did want to wait till like, my daughter was, like, 11 or whatever. So this way, if I leave her with her dad or, or my mom, she's not, like, you know, she could take her own showers and she could do pretty much everything herself. I want to do like a whole month of traveling from country to country. But I want to go visit people that, you know, I know and I became friends with over online because that's how you make friends around the world, online. That's the only way. And yes, there are actual, genuine, genuine, real good people. Thank you, Chris. Help me being happily married today. You will always have a place to stay in Berlin for that. Your advice, help me being happily married today. With You will always have a place to stay in Berlin for that. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> I get so emotional. Today was one of those days. Um, I was getting emotional all day. I was getting real sentimental is the word. Not emotional. Yeah. Um, <sighs> shit, come to Jersey and I'd be cool. <laughs> yo, the way you just said that, Jazz. Yo, you're fucking... Shit, come to Jersey. And, and, and you and I'd be cool. <laughs> I'd be in Jersey all the time. That was cute. Oh, man. I've been sentimental a sentimental lately. Well, here's the thing. Like I said, I that's why I want to have a podcast. Like, if I sit down on a podcast for, like, a straight hour and just talk about aliens and all these topics, believe me, I'll have so much to say. But if I, I beg you, go watch documentaries on, on, like, the Book of Enoch and really do watch Gaia, G-A-I-A, -A, Gaia. I recommend it to anybody who wants real information because they're one of the few networks that the government has not stopped from giving out information. They give out serious information. They tell you about things that... 90% of the people there, well, I'm going to say 65 to 70% of the people there are whistleblowers, people that work for the government. or At this point, the government in the United States, they don't give a fuck no more because they feel like nobody believes the bullshit anyway. So whatever we talk about, they're like, they're not going to know nothing. They're stupid. You know what I'm saying? Because the government really thinks, whoever it is, thinks we're really stupid and we can't handle information. But they're wrong. They're wrong. I, Oh, my God, my heart chakra. They're wrong. We can handle information. We can. And and so I feel like they slowly, like, put it in us little by little. Like, you know? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know. Like, I was going to make a sexual reference once again, but I'm not going to do it because I almost did. But it's like, you know, sometimes you need a little lube to get inside because the shit might be too tight. We're slowly being lubricated. So it, we don't just have to take it straight in the ass real quick. And we're not all like, ah! What was that? You know what I'm saying? So a little bit. Oh, my God. What's up with the heart chakra right now? Um, yeah, my heart chakra has been awakening more and more lately. I mean, it's been awakened, but oh, man, Whew, lately. Look, if you don't recognize the symptoms of your heart chakra awakening or your sacral chakra awakening, you will think you're, you're sick. You'll want to go straight to, oh, my God, my heart. You'll think. 
I couldn't really sleep and there was noises from the roof and my cat acted really weird. I don't know what happened, but it was a crazy night. Oh, yeah. Berlin, all that. Like, in Europe, for some reason, they just... I feel like... You know what they say about Hitler. Hitler has, like, Hitler has like a secret... He built a secret place in Antarctica and the Nazis are still ruling from there and they were infiltrated by an alien entity, which is that alien entity, entity. those alien entities believe that, um, you know, um, supposedly Hitler was channeling alien ent entities when he was giving speeches and he was told that there's a better race and people with blonde hair and blue eyes are better and that this whatever alien race infiltrated into the Nazi um, colony is still um, ruling and they're still p controlling which they still are in the in the government now you know what I'm saying which this is what I'm saying when I go into alien stuff we could talk for years about it okay yeah you're from Holland and what they what they say yeah you're from Holland oh okay yeah they are they are and this is what I'm trying to say to you that um they th the reason why uh, Hitler out of nowhere with dark hair and brown eyes was like blonde hair and blue eyed people are better but motherfucker, you got dark hair and brown eyes. I'm. Why? Because he was told to do that. Somebody like was like he had an alien being come to him and say, "Do this and do that, and you're gonna do it." And he was like, "Okay," and he did it, and he kept going with it. You know what I'm saying? And they say still till the, till today, those bases and those camps are in our Antarctica. And if somebody goes to Antarctica to, to to explore, they get killed right away. There was four Russian guys who went there. Only one of them made it out alive. He said the other three got pulled by some like invisible force towards them and he's like this is a true story well i never thought about that he did have dark hair i mean come on now this motherfucker's walking around exactly he wasn't even german he was walking around talking about blonde hair and blue eyes are better but this motherfucker walking around with black hair <laughs> and black 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 he had black hair and black eyes i don't understand <laughs> like well, how stupid are you brother like you know but how stupid were people though huh He's right. We are better. Then he should... I would have been like, wait a minute. Hold on, guys, guys, guys. Hold on. I schmacken, feiken, teiken, da. But like is schmacken, feiken. <laughs> like this motherfucker is telling us that we're better because we have blonde hair and blue eyes. And we need to murder him. He has black hair and brown eyes. What are we doing? <laughs> schmacken, pocken. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Yeah, Hitler had issues. He was on uh, multiple different amounts of drugs at once. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> How I feel. I keep thinking I'm having a stroke or heart attack with my chakras opening. That's how it feels. You get like a, a pinch sometimes. When you're when my root chakra was awakening, I kept feeling like somebody was stabbing me in the asshole. I was like, <gasps> they're like, what's wrong? I'm like, oh, it's just my root chakra. It's awakening. People are like, what? I'm like, oh, it's my root chakra. It's awakening in my asshole. <laughs> you know, the root ass chakra is right by the booty hole. And the same thing goes with the, the crown chakra. When you have like pinches in the head, you're like, what's wrong with my head? And then you go to doctors and the doctors are like, oh, we don't know. We have to run all these tests and don't do it. Just make sure, first check, see if it's spiritual stuff and then go to the next. He was on meth. Yeah, oh yeah. Um, um, Hitler was being injected with a mixture of methamphetamine and upper speed and all that stuff in his arm. Every day his doctor would come in and shoot him with that stuff before he would do speeches and stuff like that. He was on serious drugs. Go watch the documentary. It's called Hitler and Drugs on YouTube. You'll see it. No, that's what, like, I truly believe, like, that's, um, that's kind of, like, where, you know, um, I don't know, um, I'm not even going to talk about politics right now, but, you know, everybody's been infiltrated by some form of alien entity or another, there's a lot more information I have on that, but I really don't want to talk about it on social media platforms, like I said, I would like to have my own space I could talk about that, where it's, like, private and people can watch it, but this shit right here, they always take, they always get rid of people who talk about shit like this anyway, you know? So you don't want to, I love you guys. All right, guys, I love you. I'm going to get ready. I have to go speak at a meeting again. I've been asked, been asked to speak at meetings a lot. Um, there are NA meetings and AA meetings I go. And I just, you know, help the newcomer. Sometimes I'll give them a ride to a meeting or, you know, some people can not do drugs and not, not drink alcohol, whatever it is. But um, I go for support and uh, for support of myself and others. But they make me feel good, you know. Um, they keep me on track like they keep my mind on track just listening to people's stories and stuff like that and plus here's the funny thing i always go to na meetings and every time i'm sitting there i'm like why do i have a feeling i'm not here for me it's like a spirit that i'm with a spirit that that's that's around me a lot they want me to go to them like just can you please go to one i need to hear this i need to hear that because they're changing yeah um there's na meetings in the afterlife too all right thank you chris 
Don't say amen. Don't say amen. Amen Ra was also an alien entity who made everybody believe that that came from God. But Amen, his name was Amen Ra. That was his name. Amen Ra. And so he made everybody say amen when they walked in. <laughs> don't say amen because that's another thing an alien entity put into our brains. I'm not saying he was bad. But, um, you know, like Thoth. Thoth would, would be considered today if somebody read it. It's like, oh, that sounds evil. But Thoth, Thoth, Thoth T-H-O-T-H, gave us a wealth of information about life and, and how humanity can ascend and what they can do to become more spiritually being. more. Sp oh, my God. Somebody's cooking onions. That shit stank. Um, become more enlightened and stuff like that. Raw ramen. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you with the, with the puns today. I love it. Anyway, I love you guys. Love and light to you all. I will see you guys later. Let me still, let me still get ready. Let me still get ready. <laughs> all right, I love you guys. I'll see you guys later, all right? Bye.